cold rolled steel. A metal roller is a metal forming machine that uses a series of rollers to shape or impart physical qualities onto a metal. When a sheet of metal is passed between two rollers, strain hardening, or the plastic deformation of the material, causes the material to become flattened somewhat. This flattening without heat gives the steel higher levels of strength. Because no heat is involved in the cold rolling process, the oxidation risk that is always present when heat treating steel is eliminated. Cold rolled steel has smooth surface texture and is commonly used in objects that require the integration of strong steel shapes. The process is done at or around room temperature. The steel is usually covered in oil and then shaped. Cold rolled steel is known for being extremely ductile. Additionally, it is formable for moderate draw applications, as well as being non-shrinking and non-creeping at ambient temperatures. Most often, you'll find details about the steel as they compare to hot rolled steel. While hot rolled steel is used in applications that do not require precise shapes and tolerances, cold rolled steel is known for its ability to hold tight tolerances and retain few surface imperfections. Cold rolled steel is ideal for projects where precision is essential. The metal is easily formable for moderate draw applications. This makes it ideal for use in many home appliances and metal furniture. Metal filing cabinets and school lockers are commonly made of this metal. In construction, cold rolled steel is a common material for building steel sheds, industrial buildings, and garages. Applications for cold rolled steel include automobile parts, construction materials, appliance parts, furniture parts, computer cabinet hardware, small appliance parts, and other industrial purposes. Important factors to consider when selecting cold rolled steel are coil condition, thickness and width limits, coil diameter, coil weight, and surface quality. There are many methods of forming cold rolled steel, including 1. Squeezing such as Rolling Sizing Pinning Burnishing Thread rolling 2. Bending such as Angle bending Roll bending Roll forming 3. Shearing such as Sheet metal shear cutting Slutting perforating notching 4 drawing such as wire drawing tube drawing metal spinning embossing stretch forming sheet metal drawing the major cold working operations can be classified basically under the headings of squeezing bending shearing and drawing Squeezing processes, most of the cold working squeezing processes have identical hot working counterparts or are extensions of them. The primary reasons for deforming cold rather than hot are to obtain better dimensional accuracy and surface finish. In many cases, the equipment is basically the same, except that it must be more powerful. Cold rolling, cold rolling accounts for by far the greatest tonnage of cold work products. Sheets strip, bars, and rods are cold rolled to obtain products that have smooth surfaces and accurate dimensions. Swaging, swaging basically is a process for reducing the diameter, tapering, 
or pointing round bars or tubes by external hammering. A useful extension of the process involves the formation of internal cavities. A shaped mandrel is inserted inside a tube and the tube is then collapsed around it by swaging. Cold forging. Extremely large quantities of products are made by cold forging, in which the metal is squeezed into a die cavity that imparts the desired shape. Cold heading is used for making enlarged sections on the ends of rod or wire, such as the heads on bolts, nails, rivets and other fasteners. Sizing. Sizing involves squeezing areas of forgings or ductile castings to the desired thickness. It is used principally on basses and flats, with only enough deformation to bring the region to the desired dimension. Extrusion. Extrusion is 